Now I'm under the distinct impression that this thing is going to fly incredibly well. Although I did just notice that it kind of goes forward. I adjusted before launching. I adjusted uh, how high the back landing gear was because the engines, as you can see, are pretty close to the ground. So that might be bad. Also, we're apparently floating a bit. Okay, so let's start our engines. I have the brakes on. So this time we're going to get them rolling. We're going to take the brakes off. And do we a whoa? That never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's try taking two of them off. Let's try that again. See if uh, it just had a bit too much thrust. Uh, I know if I put the land gear out a bit, it will be a... Uh, a little bit more usable, but I just want to see if I can get this flying first. And then we'll adjust all that kind of stuff. Is it going to start wobbling? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, so let's try this. We're going to we're gonna adjust how the landing gear sits because it's doing this weird, really weird wobble, in fact. So uh, what I want to do is let's take this and put it up there. See how it's higher now? Which will allow me to take this. Um, not sure why it's all funky. Come on, let's fix this. Alright, let's see if that works. I mean, it's going to be leaning forward once again, but uh, I, I basically moved the landing gear out and down. So it, it gives me more uh, space as, as far as the engine to ground <laughs> level is concerned so that way when we land if the wings flex it doesn't just bounce the engines into the ground which has happened to me in the past if this doesn't work and we still wobble then obviously something's going on that we should fix uh, potentially putting the engine back on the back of the the aircraft may help with that so far no wobble so far no wobble this is good do we have lift we barely have any lift at all, so I think the four engines was the right thing to do, and it, this just wants to turn right for whatever reason. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this, but I want to see if we can uh, get to the end of the runway and achieve actual liftoff. Oh, this is not gonna work. Uh, uh, nope. Okay, it's just not going. So, space plane hangar. How do we want to fix this? Um, I feel like I have the right wings. I just don't feel like the engines are doing what they need to be. So let's change that. Also, what may not be helping is having two of those. So we'll only have one and we'll see if that works a little bit better. Let's check our stuff. Center of mass, center of, nope, not thrust, to center of lift. Yeah, that could, uh, that could change a bit. Okay, so I've taken the rear wings off on the back, which kind of stabilizes the whole thing. We've gone with just that one, and I think I think the four engines are what's best. So let's see how this launches. If it launches properly and it's able to attain lift enough to you know go uh, and not drag to the left or right like it was, then we'll know that we're kind of on the right path and we can change it up a bit more. But we just we just don't have necessarily the right parts that we're looking for. Um, a lot of them are unlocked as you go. Which, you know, we just we just haven't gotten enough science for that. Ugh. Yeah, it's like dragging to the side. I'm not sure why it keeps doing that. Um, let's let's try something. Let's turn SAS off and see what happens when you launch. That gives you a little bit better of an idea. Because I mean, it could be one of two things. It could be um, it could be the fact that the aerodynamics are affected by B9. Uh, parts with ferrum aerospace and it could just be trying to compensate you know like when we launch and it tries to do that no nope. the second i try to lift off it does that okay we're gonna have to rethink how we did this all right we're gonna try it with that so i've removed the wing mounted engines i've gone back down to one engine and i've centered my uh my mass and my lift unfortunately my center of thrust is now like way back here so it may slightly change because before remember it was like down 
below all of that, which doesn't necessarily make for a stable aircraft because if your center of thrust is below your center of weight and lift, then it's not it's not exactly what you're looking for there. So we'll we'll see how this flies and if it continues to pull. Oh, I don't have. Uh, let's try that again. Do do do. I don't have any air intakes, but what? What we're trying to find out with moving all this stuff, and it's something that if you're building a space plane or even any type of uh, aircraft within a Kerbal Space Program, you're probably going to have to deal with at one point, which is how, you know, how does certain parts affect others? For instance, our aircraft is pulling to the right for whatever reason, but we don't know why. We don't know why that is. And it could be something as easy as like the flaps on the back of these wings, just not really communicating properly with how the rest of the aircraft works. Also, I totally just revert back to launch. I gotta change the the way the staging works because my parachutes just went off. But yeah, you you'll wanna figure out how different parts interact with each other and that's kinda of what we're doing. I've I've played with these parts before, but something isn't playing well together, which is a little frustrating. Um I do like that the the landing gear is a bit higher, though. It makes for, uh, you know, not destroying your engine on landing a, a little bit more likely because if you have low landing gear, ooh, we're still pulling, ooh, and we're not actually achieving much lift. Okay, well, we got it going. So we got to figure out why it's pulling to certain angles. So let's put our gear up. And while we're getting this wobble too, we gotta figure that out as well. Whoops. Back up. Uh, does it even turn properly? Not really. It's really unstable. Okay, so let's figure this out. Ironically, we're quite close to our original design. Um, the lift to, to mass ratio is a little off, so let's uh, put it like right there. And uh, we'll see if that works. So if if we stop getting the pull to the left and to the right as we're going, then we'll know that it was one of those parts we were using. Uh, if we don't stop getting that, we know it's it's something else that we're using. Dang it. With, oh, gosh, revert flight. Back to launch. I should probably just do that in the, the hangar and set up my staging correctly. But constantly removing and putting the engine back on isn't going isn't gonna to help because it's going to keep doing the same thing which is a little frustrating. Also, I went back to the the landing gear design before, where it's in the middle, just to see if that helps at all. Now, we have a lot less mass as well, because the wings are a lot smaller, so we'll see if that helps. But it, it may not. Uh, we're not really pulling to any one side uh, as much, so that's good to know, which probably means we can now... Uh, yeah, let's let's go back, and we're gonna incorporate designs from the previous one uh, into this one. So our previous Mark II design, which is not having this, and instead having the wing engines. All right, so we've done this. <laughs> it looks familiar, doesn't it? Um, but now that we're using different wings, it may be that was what was holding us back. So let's try it. I think I had the staging set up properly. I moved the engines again, so it probably screwed it back up. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this probably isn't even going to be our, our final launch of this thing. We, I mean, we still need to switch pilots. This is all just kind of testing uh, on a personal level here, seeing if this actually works. It's still pointing down quite a bit. I may have to change that as well. So let's start our engines up, not full throttle, just a little bit. Just going to ease it in. And is it pulling to one side or another? Not yet. We haven't really reached maximum speed here, though. Let's give it a bit more. See if we achieve lift. Not yet, but we're, we're flying kind of straight. Whoa, as I say that, I move it too far. Okay, so still not enough lift. It, it feels like we have too much weight and not enough, enough lift. So uh, how, how am I going to fix that? All right, I've tried this, so... I've put different fuel tanks in the middle, which reduces the amount of mass we have by quite a bit because this is uh, 0.9 as opposed to the 2.172 uh, 
uh, mass, so it's significantly lower. Should put our weight a bit more balanced here. Our center of mass is still right where it needs to be, and that's not going to work. Let's revert and change how my land gear is setting. This just is not working out for me today. I just don't know why I can't get this to work properly. All right, much better. So I've moved the landing gear in the back like so. Uh, that looks a lot better. Let's see if it flies a lot better. Probably won't. But, yeah, you know, we also have Luke Kerman just in case it does. This is our actual pilot for this. He's the test pilot of... No. So I think I figured out what happened there. I think it's the landing gear causing that. The fact that it's, you know, rotating like that. I think it's... I think it is actually the landing gear. Um... It just starts wobbling because of the, you know, it's not super structural there, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. So let's see if I can whoops, yeah, 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 get it to do that. Uh, and let's just see what it does with that. Because if it starts wobbling again, then I know I've screwed something up, even though I haven't moved anything except for the landing gear. It may be that they were too far in. Maybe I need them out more. Maybe I should just put an extra pair on the wings at the very tips. Maybe we should try that. Let's see what this does. Uh, it's, it's dragging. So that is definitely the landing gear that's causing that. Now we know, right? Now we know that it wasn't our design before. It was just really how the landing gear is functioning. Let's go back to our other landing gear that we know is working fine. All right, I think I found a solution. I've gone with the tricycle front end and then the back to just make sure that I don't uh, die terribly. So, save, launch. Are we going to wobble? Is this the wobbler? If so, I may give up on this entirely for the time being and try something slightly different. Is it going to work? <laughs> I'm going to bet it's going to wobble. Uh, So far, so good. So far, so good. I like how it looks like one of those huge bikes with the, like the massive wheel because it's sitting so high off the ground. Uh, oh, okay, we're we're not getting any lift at the moment. That's fine. We don't need lift right now. We need lift right now. Oh no, not enough lift. Whew, that made me jump. So, why? This is the problem I'm having here. It's like it's too much mass, right? Center of mass to center of lift. It's close enough, even though we've changed things around. We're just not getting enough lift, which is really kind of frustrating. It's like, what else could I potentially add to this thing to even get it to go properly? Well, I can, uh, well, actually, that's not going to work at the end because the wing apparently has a lot more body to it at the end than what it shows. So I don't know. Maybe I should just add a ton of wings and see if that even works. I'm almost certain this isn't going to work, and it looks retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this thing totally is not gonna fly <laughs> i mean it'll it might do better than before than the last one but it definitely isn't gonna be uh super awesome or anything Oof, that drag dragging like super hard to the right do we have lift though do we have lift i uh, oh my gosh <laughs> i i can't i can't actually believe that this is working Okay. Okay. Let, whoa. I tried to put the gears up and it wobbled. It wobbled hard. I'm going to leave the gears down. Hey, quit, 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 your, quit your wobbling. Huh. Well. I'm actually a little surprised. I'm sure all of the... Luke is terrified. He does not understand how this thing is flying. And uh, I honestly believe that all of the... Ooh, it actually does slow down pretty good. It's got a lot of drag. I, I believe that all of the people down at the Kerbal uh, Space Center there are having a hard time believing that it's actually flying as well. I mean, whoa! <sighs> Luke is a master pilot, I'll tell you that much. He's he's managing it. He's managing this monstrosity. Uh, it's gone from functional to silly very quickly. But you know what? He's he's done it. He's actually <laughs> he's whoa. He's managed to 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 fly this thing. It's super unstable, but with the technology they have thus far, 
they've they've managed something special. They've managed to achieve flight in a way that was a lot better than the last one. But now it's time to achieve the impossible from last time as well, which is landing and not exploding terribly. Thank you.